Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk. So it seems that a number of articles have been appearing in both the UK and Ireland which are following a pattern in the last 24 hours, which I thought I'd point out because the fake stream media love to prime their audience well ahead of anything they have planned to announce. And maybe this is nothing, but it does seem strange that all of a sudden, yesterday and today, there have been loads of these articles talking about variants and rising cases and restrictions. Here we see in The Independent, one to keep an eye on, COVID infections rise across the UK. Now note that phrase, one to keep an eye on. Then we have here in the sun, the Irish sun, COVID rise, Irish COVID cases, hit the highest rate since restrictions eased as new variant one to watch. So we've got one to watch, it says. So within 24 hours of each other, we've got two stories, one from Ireland, one from UK, both about cases rising and both using the same phrase, one to keep an eye on or one to watch. It's when you see these similar synonymous phrases being used in articles from the different media companies to describe the same thing at the same time, it smells a bit fishy. Again, in Ireland, this is from yesterday, the mirror. Could COVID restrictions come back? In Ireland, Professor Luke O'Neill labels new variant one to watch. Again, we've got the phrase, keep an eye on it, one to watch. That's the same phrase in the sun, the mirror, and the independent, all on the same day. Media agenda, in my mind. Professor Luke O'Neill is very much Ireland's equivalent to Dr. Hillary, Big Pharma Shields, probably one of these TV doctors in every country. Here we see the BBC yesterday, COVID infections rising again across UK from ONS. Here we have another one from yesterday, this one going on about Delta Omicron hybrid detected in UK as experts warn it shouldn't be ignored. And again, the catchphrase at the end, it says, government must keep an eye on the strain. And in Ireland yesterday, it says here, is another wave of COVID hitting Ireland? Top Irish experts warn this isn't over amid surging cases. And that's just a few of the articles in the last 24 hours. I mean, I could be wrong, but the way you see the same phrases being used, the way it all comes out at the same time on different platforms, it looks like they are starting another media propaganda blitz. Maybe they are looking to juggle the Ukraine and the jib jab stuff simultaneously now. Here we see this afternoon in The Guardian in the UK, Call to offer more people fourth jab as COVID rises in England as numbers admitted to hospital rise again. Ministers face calls to extend for vaccination beyond the over 75s. So that's a, that's a quick response, isn't it? And look at the photograph used in this article. I mean, this is supposedly just a random photo of people on the tube on the London Underground. What's the two colours that stand out? What do you see? Hmm? Yep. You can't make it up, can you? Yellow and blue. Blue bars on the tube. Man in the center is wearing yellow top and blue jeans, blue mask. Two people either side of him wearing yellow trousers on the right, yellow jacket on the left. Another yellow and blue photograph image to add to the collection. I've got another video to make about the yellow and blue thing. It's a a color combination that a certain family are very fond of using. So yeah, I just wanted to point out these stories that seem to be coming out in the last, well, 24 hours. It's curious to see where they are going with this crap now and what they are going to try to do next and where it's gonna go. And will the public follow the yellow brick road no matter what? Let us know what you think in the comments As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com and I'll see you later.